You are now tuned in to The One Man Show. One Man Show. You are watching The One Man Show. Ooh. One Man! One Man Backing show. Britain. That's not backing Britain, but back in Britain. Although, why shouldn't we back Britain? After all, we told yesterday, most people in employment for years, biggest drop in unemployment for years. Personally, I don't believe it, but it's good news. If it's good news to make everybody feel better, crack on. So, what's the one man rant for today? Well, there is a rant. And if you're a woman, I'm sure I'm going to get some stick about this, but I don't care. Before I went away, a girl, woman, lady, from nearly 30 years ago popped back into my world. We had an amazing relationship back in 85, 86. But you know when things come back? where perhaps you initially didn't remember them. And I recall she devastated me, she dumped me. Indications at that time suggested that she loved another instead, with ginger hair. And I've got nothing against gingers. But she was also a bloody flirt. But that was when we were in our twenties. But those feelings came back, as crazy as it may sound. But I decided I didn't want to follow up. I didn't want to see her. Those feelings that I've got, they're always going to come in the way. And then, oh my bloody God. 36 hours on WhatsApp, badgering the hell out of me. trying to use psychological warfare on me. I'm a coward, I'm a wimp. I'm not going away, I can see you. So I blocked her. And then I decided I wasn't gonna to respond to sod all. After all, it's my life. Nobody else's, it's mine. <clears throat> Anyhow, yesterday, she sent an email and I made the fatal mistake. I responded saying, you don't give in, do you? <clears throat> that is set off another 12 hours of what I am now classing as frickin' harassment. I've told her I'm not interested. Leave me alone. Nice to hear from you. Sod off. I then get life story after life story after life story on the email. Even more this morning. What the hell? Would you want to be involved, you know, with a woman like that? It's as if she's fucking stalking me. God, it's only me. Mr. Motorbike TV. It's only me. Um, saying that, I'll, lie, I'll ride your motorbike with you. I'll live in Bosnia with you. I'll lie in your clothes for you. I'll do anything. It's quite pathetic, really, isn't it? And it's put me off even more. Well, that was impossible because I'd already been put off. So where do you go from there? I don't know. Anyhow, moving on. Motorbike adventures starting again. Next week I'm off to Mid Wales, South Wales. And then it's Devon, Cornwall. North Norfolk. Because that North Norfolk coastline is pretty goddamn lovely. And then, I'm going off into Scotland. Now, there's, it's a massive country. Oh, I'm just going to go and whiz around Scotland. It's probably going to take me four to six weeks to do it. And I'm looking forward to it. Then, I'm going back to Bosnia to film the launch of the motorbike touring holidays in Bosnia. .co.uk, just in case you didn't know. 
Um, and that's going to be taking me right up to the end of the year, probably. So I've got loads to do. One of the things I'm considering doing is also producing an online magazine. Because that's what I used to be in. I used to be in publishing for quite a lot of years. Magazines and guidebooks and maps. Before going into film in 2004, three, four, something like that. So that's where I'm at, at the moment. Mind you, I do have to mention that I did meet somebody across in Bosnia and we spent a day together. And you know, I've never ever been so happy on a day out with a member of the opposite sex for years. But that ain't gonna work out. For one, she's a tad bit younger than I am. <laughs> no, don't call me Rolf Harris. Um, but it was lovely. It was a lovely, lovely day. And she's asking when I'm going back. She's been trying crash helmets on to be the tour guide with me. So she's going to be on my bike, taking people around Bosnia, showcasing that fantastic country. So that's going to be pretty goddamn wonderful. But while I was away, I had no shoulder pain. After a couple of days, it went. Dropped the medication and everything. I've been back here six days. I'm going to see the osteopath again tonight because my right shoulder even holding this camera is bloody killing me I guess everybody's right it must be the stress so that's the one man vlog for today a little bit of an update as to what I've been doing and what I've been going through and also what's coming up I might even go for a haircut this afternoon but then again, more likely tomorrow morning. Who knows? I can do what I want. And that's what I like. So, until the next time. Bye-bye for now. The Motorbike TV Vlog with Kevin Lear. Please subscribe, like and share.